Hi, I'm Lucelle, and today I'm so excited because I have Smashing to Pieces here with me. Welcome to my channel. And we are excited to see and be with you. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Yeah. I have we so are many fine. Questions. We're sitting here and doing a <laughs> press and uh, uh, enjoying some coffee and yeah, wine. Some and really fruit hot coffee. And uh, etc. etc. So, yeah. It's, it, everything's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. How so, are you? I'm good. I'm very excited. I'm too bad I'm not there, but it was it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. So firstly, can you introduce yourself individually? Yeah. My name is Chris Adam. I'm the singer of Smashing the Pieces. My name is Benjamin and I'm the guitarist of Smashing the Pieces. And I'm Pat, I'm also a guitarist of Smash. And the fourth member, can you tell her, her, his name? That's Apo. That he's uh, the drummer. <laughs> and as the superheroes are, they only appear when someone needs them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And he everybody needs him. Yeah, he so. saved the day on Saturday. I want to know what is your musical background? I mean, now we've been together for 15 years, so we share the same background <laughs> mostly our life. But uh, I think we all come from this kind of pop rock uh maybe parody you come from something yeah i was kind of the metal guy when yeah. i was younger so yeah heavier and you come from actually something more yeah natural. like i um i remember i i was really into trans music for a long time and and um uh i had this like uh metal era like black metal era uh and uh yeah well i I mean, I I'm really I have a really broad listening um, history to uh, music. So, but uh, I think that rock music is is the thing that my soul is uh, the most into. What brings us together? Yeah, and, and and I come from more of the pop. So I think we three together are like smash sound in mm. that manner. Yeah, I like good music. That's you know. Do you have it can any be pop, it can training? be rock, it can be everything. Do you have any formal training, like education in music? Uh, no. I mean, I, I tried, uh, went to um, a school where you're studying, uh, do you call it notes? Uh, yeah, theory. Sheet music. And yeah, but that's, also, that's actually just killed my mode for it. So I got lost of that and went back to the rehearsal room because there is where the passion is. Mm. And I'm actually an audio engineer, so I've been studying and I have like, I love the technical stuff and the production and everything around, so. Yeah, I, I went to, I think, uh, three singing lessons and those singing lessons uh, uh, taught me how to warm or cool down my voice after a show, but I'm, I'm self-taught, so. Lots of live shows inside here, so it's uh, yeah. That's awesome. You learn a lot by just experiencing things. Exactly. In real life, yes. Yeah. And how did you first meet? Uh, yeah. Well, I had a school band when I uh, was at my last year in school. I think I was like eighteen. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to have a bass player. And uh, in comes Ben Banjo into the rehearsal room. And he, uh, after the rehearsing, he was like, uh, you want to join Smash? So that's my, he, he I stole, stole me. Yeah, stole him. He kidnapped me. I knew what I wanted. Yeah, so that, that was in 2007, 2008, uh, the winter in 2007, 2008. So, yeah, and Per, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I walked into a music store and I hear this guy sitting at like a super shredder. And uh, we started talking. <laughs> of course, it was Benjamin. And we kind of talked about different uh, guitars that we were influenced by and stuff like that. And we, yeah, kind of kept in contact. So, uh, and then I asked him if he wanted to join the band. And he said, yes. So yeah. <laughs> here we are. We went down on one knee. <laughs> exactly. And you mentioned the name Banjo. I've heard about it. What comes that from? It's uh, it's just 
It's from when I was in school, uh, young, younger age, and I played a lot of Banu Kasui. I mean, we are gamers in, mm. the, in the ground like that. And I would say it comes from there. And then it was just an easy name to, I mean, there was some Benjamins in the class and it was easier to have this Banu thing. So, and it just, it's a cool nickname. Yeah. I will show the, it's just the stay with me. Yeah, show, and I have a, your this side. I think it's on this side. It's actually Tats here. Yeah, it's a banjo here. Banjo tattoo here on the neck. <laughs> it's kind of cool. That's awesome. And can you name one thing about each other that makes it more fun to work with them? I'll wait till you guys. Well, I <laughs> we think uh, Benjamin is kind of an entertainer. He has a lot of stories where just being Benjamin, I guess, is kind of entertaining. <laughs> yeah. It's a. Uh, a lot of stuff uh, and mishaps going on so it's always a fun story behind every dumb number right here <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah yeah well banjo always uh makes me sla slash <laughs> it's been a lot of interviews today uh yeah. he always makes me smile and laugh in ways i've never actually done before so he kind of opens up my I don't know. There's... Can I see a smile in which you have never done a smile before? <laughs> yeah, but he makes me laugh so much. <laughs> he makes me laugh so fucking hard all the time. And that's the thing I love the most about this guy. And, and the, of course, the, the songs that are coming out of him all the time. Is it that, it's the same with Perl's Funny Bones. Funny, yeah, but, funny face. Like yeah, me. But, and that's just, it's the same with, with Per also. Like uh, the, the melody heads they have. Yeah, I think it's like this if I just make it short. I think Pat is really the safety. We feel really safe with him. He's really smart and he always like uh, calculate his moves and everything he do. So that's the safe side. And I would be the other side that just throw myself into stuff that always, not always, but very often <laughs> ends really bad. So they have to save me. And then he comes along. Mm. And, the guy and, and, and he's in the, the middle. middle. And then in the middle. <laughs> Great combo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was the inspiration for the song Vanguard? I would say it, it from the beginning it came from this. Uh, I mean, this was before the war, so it was not actually from that story. But we, it was a game called Vanguard, Call of Duty Vanguard, uh, that was, re was released. And I, I'm really into those games, the Second World War games. And we had a story that's also t told in the game uh, of this frontline group taking the first step into the war and make the safer road for the others. So this was the story of Vanguard. And then when we released it, the timing of it was super bad, of course, because nobody wants that to happen. So it was just a random thing going on there. Yeah, but the message from that song is what, you know, what war is uh, making us do. And, yeah. and uh, you know, uh, no, no winners. winners. No winners, basically. No winners in war. Only in mellow. Only mellow. What can you share about creating the music video and who did you collaborate to make it? The you... Vanguard video? Yeah, the Vanguard video. Uh, there's a guy called Pavel, which we are working on, working with uh, right now on our upcoming new videos. Mm. And uh, it's a guy from Latvia, a really nice guy. He has a really strong team that works for him. And to be on a music video set with Pavel is basically being in a mellow, uh, um, you know, for, yeah. for production. Like there's a, tons of people working there and, you know, there's good catering and there's a lot of things going on and there's filming constantly for days. So he's a really passionate guy and professional guy and try to, uh, yeah, he's a really, it's a really good uh, collaboration, I think, with him. He makes good stuff. And Chris Adam, is it true you have a company with your dad? I had. You had? Yeah. Like I worked with my dad for like almost 10 years mm. uh, on the side of Smash for, for a long time. <clears throat> But uh, when we started doing this full time, which was three years ago, somewhere around that, I I had didn't really had time to 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 do that also. So, you know, 
So yeah, that's true. I I worked with him for a long time. Was it marketing? And it's it's a, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing because I don't think that nobody has spent so much time with their you know parents mm -hmm. the way that I have. So you know, it's uh it's been a it's been a good few years. Yeah, yeah. it's it's different to like work with your parents in a way. Mm. Yeah, but I think the 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 thing with not spending so much time with him has done us a really good, great favor because uh, you know when you work together and try to have this son father relationship at the same time it's kind of the you know the it's a fine line so I think the I think that me and him not working together anymore it's it's a good thing so now we even closer so feels good feels really good that's awesome. What was the inspiration for the song Arcadia? It actually came from, I mean, we had so many talks about this world that uh, our hero lives in and what he's fighting for. And this is our way to reflect the real world somehow. And uh, But in our own way, we tell it through this uh, uh, simulation. And when I wrote that song, uh, it was that I just imagined this world and how I viewed it. And from the storyline we had and it came kind of natural actually those days when we were working on the song what inspired you to have your release party for Acadia on a bus yeah that's a great question <laughs> actually <laughs> Lisa did we have that actually uh, uh, Lisa is responsible for our, but our release party I think I remember wasn't this like during a corona the pandemic yeah, actually, yeah so it was so many rules and we had to be on the outside a lot and uh, this bus thing was also kind of cool because we are i mean we are so used to being a bus when we are touring and this is the life we have on, on the road and how we are living it so we wanted to it was like a great thing. place also to do interviews and we had like a gaming lounge and uh, it was like a, a really good way to <clears throat> somehow do it during the pandemic and uh, yeah still make it feel like and us. to be able to move closer to the people we want to invite yeah, yeah and also we, the bus. <laughs> also we uh were one of the, the the artists who worked together with destiny the game where yeah. we uh also launched Bungie. yeah Bungie, um the 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 gaming company Bungie, and we also released xbox during that time in sweden so it was like a collaboration and uh and uh we also had some like um competition things outside like uh, throwing arrows at things and you know throwing balls at stuff and you know balls. we had balls to, know, we, balls. balls to the walls balls to the walls yeah but it was a really nice uh, thing to um it was a good way to do the release party in the pandemic so yeah it looks a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah it looks a lot of fun and it was like something different yeah yeah yeah. I want to ask you, what inspired you to apply to Melody Festival? Well, yeah. we uh, we met Joey Deb, Linnea Deb, and Jimmy Joker, and uh, we had a session with them in 2021, 22, 21. I don't remember, but uh, and we started recording a song together because we wanted to write together, and out comes uh, uh, Six Feet Under. And uh, then we took the the whole idea and we took it to our studio and we worked it with it on with Pear, who has mixed and mastered that song and produced it as well. So we as a band has made the final product out of that session. And uh, we have some strong songwriters on this song and I think that's a good thing for us. Yeah, and I would say it's inspired us to be in this competition on our own terms, like we do this in our truth like we are showing it's a great, great showcase for us <laughs> yeah. yeah we're <laughs> building like a fan base around the world and touring a lot but we haven't really been a media band so this is a great opportunity to just reach out to the normal not especially rock people or so it's a great way to showcase smashing the pieces yeah yeah it's a lot of fun Timing. to see like a rock band in the contents because like I usually listen to that more. So it's fun to like finally see more of that in the contest. 
It's fine. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell more about the metal song Six Feet Under and what was the inspiration behind it? Well, the song is uh, basically about me. I had a really bad depression a couple of years ago. And uh, the song is basically about how it feels to be six feet under. Basically, how you feel at the bottom. And you don't think that there is a way out from it. So, so we as a band want to uh, give this positive... Um, how do you say it? positive um, a message that if you're willing to do the job, you can actually go through that and become even happier and more successful and, you know, uh, a better person, even though it feels uh, not that way. So uh, if I can do it, and well, Get anyone can do better it. Better so, result in life. Yeah. So, yeah. That's uh, what the song is about. Yeah, glad you came out of it. Thank and you. Me too. When starting the work with the team of your mellow staging, what were your guidelines to them on what, about what you wanted on stage? I guess we wanted to do something similar that we have been doing in our Arcadia music videos. Kind of a feeling that we're inside this virtual reality and. Uh, yeah, it feels really in the vein of Smashing the Pieces. And we just did the first uh, rehearsal today where we could actually see the final product. And uh, yeah, we're really happy. And I think it looks great. I've seen it. So like I can tell like the it's very Smashing the Pieces. Yeah, I saw it on the media platform. So I can uh -huh. see the familiar... Pirate Bay. What? <laughs> Pirate Bay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have the access. <laughs> okay. That's good. I I like it. It's like very from what you have been like releasing in music videos. So yeah, nice. we're staying true to our concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So lastly, do you have any upcoming projects after Melody Festival? A lot. Every day. Yeah, we just started, <laughs> I think. And uh we have a crazy mother schedule. So we were in Latvia, as I said before, uh, last week shooting a bunch of new music videos. So we have Rocking a lot of songs. things coming up. And this is the first day on the tour. And uh, on Saturday is the first day on the tour, actually, because the day after we fly to Ireland and start the 30 days tour. And of course, we fly back if there is semi final or final. Well, let's see about that. And then we go to the North America tour. Uh, so it's two months this away. Spring. So, yeah. yeah. When then trying to uh, record a new uh, album, and uh, you know, we don't want you guys to starve too much. <laughs> we like a band that actually posts stuff and like release the, releasing music. So yeah. not everyone does that that much. No excuses <laughs> now when we do this full time. So yeah that's awesome so yeah. thank you i need i know that you need to get going soon i have more questions but that will be for another time <laughs> all right so, yeah. thank you for talking to you and uh yeah See thank you, you so much thank you cheers <laughs> <laughs> mellow Hi. up and mellow up and